Hello, in today's video, we're going to build the Azure Sentinel infrastructure on Brainboard. So let's get started. As a first resource, we are going to use a region. Then here, we simply need to configure it. And for use case, we will keep it as East US. Now we will make it bigger to include more resources. And we're going to include a resource group. So here we will configure it. It will be resource group uh, East US. The name would be lg underscore sentinel. Here we have the advanced configuration, and here we have the meta arguments of Terraform with the count, the depends on, and the for each. Here we will make it bigger again, and we will include a virtual network. Here, we will drag and drop it in the resource group. Now we will configure it. So here we have virtual network. Address space will create a variable for it, is to us. And here is going to be net underscore monitoring. Here, advanced configuration. And you can continue configuring your resource this way. So now we go to input. And we are going to create our variable. So here is going to be v net underscore address space. Here would be an architecture. Here will be string. The default value would be so here it will be ten dot zero zero. 16 and here we can add the default value of the unit address space. And now we have created our variable. So now we go back here and we will use variable that we have created is this one. So here we're good. So now we will make the vnet bigger and we will include a sentinel. So net is this one we will include in the virtual network. Here subnet 4 is going to be so the name of the subnet is going to be subnet analytics. Here we have advanced configuration and we can continue configuring our resource. So now we go back to input. Here we say it's subnet architecture string and here we're going to configure it. So it's going to here the default Now we go back to our resource and we are going to configure it. So here var subnet. Now we make the subnet bigger. And we also are going to change the color. Let's say, for example, light blue. But the color is going to be like that. Okay. So now we are going to look for log analytics space and we include it in the subnet. Now we are going to configure it. So here is going to be East US. Here is going to be a test 01. Advanced configuration. We are going to configure it so here is going to be 30 the skew is going to be pair gb like now so now we open and now we need log analytics solution and we include it in the subnet 
Now we are going to configure it. So here is going to be SUS. Solution name is going to be security in site. Workspace name is going to be log analytics workspace and here we add name workspace id is going to be log analytics workspace background. Here as a product we are going to have so O M S color and here inside Visual Microsoft and here we are good so now we need another resource it's going to be here sentinel alert so it's going to be this one and here we included in the subnet. Now we are going to configure it. So here is going to be display name is going to be example rule. Here we have log analytics workspace ID. Here we have the name example MS security and alert rule configure Microsoft cloud app security and here okay. so now we can look at advanced configuration here and we can continue configuring it now we need a depends on so it's going to be here we look log analytics 6 and we are going to use it for our depends on and here we make sure that is right So now we have created this infrastructure. We have automatically generated the Terraform code from the design, and we are going to make sure that the Terraform code is actually valid. To do so, simply need to go to deploy. Here we have the Terraform code. Here we have all the files, for example, the output, if we wanted to create output, the providers, the Terraform device, the variables, and here we do action and we do a Terraform plan. Here Benborn does the Terraform init. As you can see, everything is green. So it means the Terraform code that has been generated from the design is actually valid. So here, as BrainBoard is a collaborative solution, here BrainBoard is able to detect all ongoing actions. So you can now switch off the plan and then do the apply and deploy this infrastructure from BrainBoard. You can also use and create pull request. So here, for example, you add the description measure Sentinel infrastructure. Here, you can use GitLab, GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket. Here, we will use GitLab, and then we create the pull request. Here, we have the link to the pull request my name here we have all the changes with all the files and here you can do the merge if you want 
so we are good here and now let's say that we would like to convert this infrastructure so here from work in progress to let's say if we wanted to deploy it let's say deployed you can add the description if you want so here terraform code is ready and infrastructure let's say is deployed so now we do the date so here we have the status here we have the description now we can create and convert this infrastructure into reusable templates let's say public here we would say for the published architecture now we go to production where we don't have any infrastructure we look at the templates catalog and especially the one that we have created so here is this one simply need to click here and then in literally two seconds you have the design the terraform code all the files and you can maintain it directly on Brandboard. and here we have it so i hope this video has been useful for you and if you have any questions i will be happy to help you build your own use case on Brandboard. have a great day